Hello my dear ones, today I want to talk to you about why you always should carry a prayer box with you. I think you always should carry a prayer box with you like in your handbag, in your backpack, maybe you have one in your car or especially if you go on holiday or even if you just go on a, on a, um, on a sh short trip because my darlings, a prayer box is just a tool that can help you if you maybe feel um, anxious, if you feel like um, anxiety coming up, if you feel nervous, if you if you are afraid or if you just need or if you just need some some quiet time with God and if you just need some something extra so I'm going to show you what is in my prayer box um, I got this prayer box for free I think on a, on a, on a in a Catholic event, so two years ago, and, and you can order this for the people in the Netherlands um, at Kerk and Notes. Um, but um, but I don't know. I think you you can order them like um, you maybe you just um, maybe did they just have them also in a Catholic shop? I'm sure about that. So what's in my prayer box? This is the prayer box. Um, it's. It has like, oh, let me show you like this, it has like a small rosary in it. So you can just pray the rosary. Of course, holy water. And it has a beautiful cross. So you, um, you, you can meditate on the cross. And what I do, like if I'm so aware and if I'm using my prayer box, like I put my prayer box like this in front of me and I put a cross here and I just sprinkle myself with holy water and just start to pray my rosary or just start to meditate on the word of God. I try to look up in Bible verse what, um, what suits the moment or I just pray the rosary. So it depends on my mood, it depends on the situation that I am, that I am in. But, but for me, it's very necessary to have a prayer box with me because, because life can be so hectic and, uh, and things can really overwhelm us. And sometimes we just don't know what to do because, uh, because, we live in a, because we live in this world, but we are not from this world. So sometimes if we are in a situation, then I always think like, okay, I, okay, <clears throat> Excuse me, like, um, what is the best thing to do? Like, it's really easy to have worldly wisdom, but I think what is more important and uh, important for us Christians to have like godly wisdom. Then, then I always think by myself, Christina, but this what what was what want God me to do? What does God want us to do in this situation? That's what I was trying to say. So then I always think, I always try to take for, or one or five minutes, I just pray. Sometimes I just go outside or I just go go to find a little small corner. It's, it's very simple, very easy, but it's very handy to have this. M maybe for you at work, maybe you can have like a prayer moment at your lunch break or if you if or if you go f if you have like a, a difficult meeting with somebody you can take your prayer box and just can pray like um like in the middle of your meeting you can say you know what I think uh, I think we should just um we should just take a break um just get a drink while what other person is getting a drink or getting a bite to eat that uh, then you go outside and you and you pray maybe in your car as i said maybe outside or some or you find i always try to find over like a really uh, really quiet space so i just try to pray it's very simple very easy but very necessary i think that's why we live in a um, in a world with so many people with, um, dealing with panic attacks and dealing with anxiety and uh, and a panic attack it's like a warning it's a warning to pray so if you start feeling like you have a panic attack or you start like feeling very anxious you have to say there's like an alarm going off in your body it says to you you know what it's time to pray because it's like a sign for you cannot do it by yourself because if you have like a panic attack you cannot think by yourself or oh, there's something wrong with me i am weak i'm strange i um i i have problems no it's not about that it's about that it, your body is saying like you need help and the only person that person that can help us that can give us the, the, uh, the godly wisdom is God so if you have a panic attack just relax and just say you know what you know what this is a sign for me to pray this is a sign for me to talk to God because I think God 
because uh, 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 God can help you. He can give you the device and he can lead you. It says in the Bible, he will lead us to anything because he will never forsake us because we are his children. And you know what, darlings, also for the people who are dealing with panic attacks, like uh, when God made you, he knew that you were dealing with panic attacks. He knew that you were dealing with anxiety, with doubts. Like everything is not new for God. Like everything what you are going to is not like, Oh, whoops, oh my oh my god, I see my child having a panic attack. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to handle it. No, this is not new for God. He knew this about you and he can use this for something very beautiful. He can make ashes, he can uh, he can make a beauty of your ashes. So don't think like there's something wrong with me. I just want to really um, I really want you to get this. It's just a sign that God say, you know what, my child, I want to come on on this journey with you. Take me with me. Uh, uh, ask my advice. Um, ask, ask my guidance. Because how beautiful is it that we have a God who knows who knows all the answers, but who's and 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 who said to us like I'm going to give you all the answers for your life, but on my time. And sometimes we pray for something, or, or we want advice of something, or, um, or we want God to speak to us like direct, like in uh, like it's like ordering a pizza. Like I want to have a pizza with with uh, with mushroom with onion, and I want to have it in 50 minutes. But with God is not like that, because He says like sometimes you have to wait. And, and in the meantime, uh, while you are waiting for my answer, I'm going to prepare you for the thing, thing that you have asked me for. But sometimes I also say by myself, like, I don't know, I don't think, <laughs> I, don't think I need this preparation. I don't think I need, I, I need the second te test. I don't think I need this third test, this third test. I feel like I am in a box ring like all my life. God, I think it's, I, I think it's time to get me out. Um, but, but my darling, I have realized like even um, even if I'm taking this test, same test over and over again for the third time, maybe you are taking the test for the third time, but, uh, but, uh, but God, every situation is a little bit different, so God can use every situation. So now I'm so grateful for all the tests and I'm so grateful that um, that I've been in the ring, like in the box ring, because God is preparing me, because you and me, we are made for so much more. It says in the Bible, we don't live by what we see. Because sometimes I see like, oh, I am in a box ring, or, or I'm going to, I am going in, going through seasons of test, of the test, of the test, and I see no change. I see no change in my life. I see no change. But, um, but, uh, but we can, we cannot live by what we see. That's something what I always have to remind myself because God is working in a mysterious way. And that's why for me it's very handy to have like a prayer box like sometimes if i jump if i'm somewhere if i'm not home and if i'm somewhere else i just need i always need like my my quiet time with god because he is my best friend and also i know that nobody loves me like god like nobody loves me like jesus like like i am i am like his favorite child and you are also his favorite child that's why because god loves us so much like he's gonna he's gonna direct us uh, direct us uh, on a good path because um, because he wants the best for us and and because he is our father because he knows everything uh, everything what goes on in our life and he knows where where he wants us to be so that's why we can fully fully uh, fully trust him and uh, and sometimes you, you cannot get it confused. Sometimes I also do the same. Sometimes uh, we say like, I don't understand. It's okay if you don't understand. We don't need to understand everything because we live in, the, in a world where we need to understand everything and we, need to, and we want to have power over everything. But if you want to follow Jesus Christ, my darling, you have to give up your power. You say, you know what? I give up my power. I, I, I want to be humble. I want to be the person to say, you know what? I don't know everything, but I know one person who knows everything and I'm going to trust him with my life because if I follow him, then the, if I follow him, then I know everything will, will be okay. I don't know, um, it's maybe not, uh, not on my time, not on my schedule, but I trust God and everything will be fine. So trust me, darlings, God has a plan for you. He, he not just have a plan for you. He has something amazing for you. And he's going to use everything what happened in your life. And he's going to use, use also everything what's going to happen in your life. So you can trust him. The only thing that you have to do, sometimes you just have to take a break. You just, you 
just uh, t t uh, t um, take your prayer box and you go pray and you and you talk to God and you just say, share your heart with him and he will lead you. If you give him your hand, he will take your hand and he will not let it go.